We are in Backup Exec version 16, and I'm going to show you how to create a disaster recovery disk. So what's great about a disaster recovery disk is that it allows you to boot from an ISO file that you've burned to a disk, and that disk will boot up into a version of an operating system that will take you right to the backup exec software so you can do a restore much more quickly. In cases of a bare metal restoration where your server is completely dead and you need to install on a new one, this can be a huge time saver or in case all of your hard drives or your hard drive controller has gone dead. So what you do is you boot off of this uh, burned disk and then make sure your storage that has your backup exec backups on it is connected to your server and then it will give you the option to restore much more quickly. So if we click on the circle in the upper left hand corner and go to configuration and settings, click on the disaster recovery disk, then we see a wizard comes up. Just go ahead and click next and we want to create a new simplified disaster recovery disk image ISO. That's the easiest way to do it. Go ahead and choose next and we want to make sure that we check that we understand the requirements. The requirements are that we may have to have a restart in order to get this all to work properly. Go ahead and click Next. And we continue on with our wizard here. There we go. Now it's asking for the location of where it is that we would like to do all of this. And we first need to install the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit. Now it says for Windows 10 in this particular case because we're on Windows Server 2016 and they're going to be the same kernels. So go ahead and click Next. And we want to participate in, in participation for the Windows kits installed on this computer. And just go ahead and click No. And we've got the license agreement, which of course you should read. Click Accept. And we want the deployment tools and Windows PE so we can get the pre-installation uh, environment that we need for our bootable DVD. Go ahead and run the installation and usually it only takes a few seconds. If you have a slower computer it might take a little bit longer and also if you're running server 2012 or 2008 then it may take a different amount of time as well. All right, it's all done. Let's go ahead and click Close. And now we can make sure we have 64-bit, which we do. Choose the correct language for you. And we want to automatically start any network services and choose Next. Let's choose our server. And we can also add additional servers here if we want. And choose Next. And we've got our network card. And that is selected. If there's no driver for it, then We'll click the Add Driver button, but in this case, the driver is there. So go ahead and click Next. This next part shows the label option for the CD, but in reality, it's going to be a DVD. And we've got the image file set to go to the program files. Let's go ahead and put that on the desktop so it's a little bit easier to find. And that's it. Now let's go ahead and click Create Image. And this can take a little while, again, depending on the speed of your computer. All right, our disaster recovery image is done. Go ahead and click Next and Finish. Now let's go to our desktop and take a look for the file. And there is our file. So all you have to do now, if you're in 2012 R2 or 2016, is just choose to burn the disk image. If not, then you can go ahead and install an ISO burner and then you can run the installation that way and then that will create the bootable disk that you need in order to recover from a bare metal disaster for Backup Exec 16.